thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to answer a question. I, I wish I remember. I wish I remember who asked the question. I don't, and I apologize. But somebody, in one of the comments down below, somebody said, would you please give us some references on the cups and balls? How do I learn the cups and balls? Houdini used to say that, that, uh, that you're not a magician if you can't perform the cups and balls. It's a must. And I, I remember when I was coming up in magic, there were two tricks that I wanted to learn and I wanted to do them well. The cups and balls and the linking rings. Uh, to me, yeah, you know, pulling a rabbit out of a hat aside, I mean, if you can pull a rabbit out of a hat, if you can do a great cups and balls routine and you can do the linking rings, baby, you're a magician. Absolutely. It takes a while to, to learn these things. I, I've talked about the symphony of the rings. That's the foundation of any good ring routine, Di Vernon's Symphony of the Rings. Well, Di Vernon also provides the foundation for the cups and balls. So let me talk about some references. This book right here is called The Di Vernon Book of Magic. The Di Vernon Book of Magic. Inside of this book, you will find a complete explanation of the cups and balls. So inside of this book, you will find a complete explanation of the cups and balls. It starts on page 123 and goes on through, and it is illustrated with photographs and explanation. And I would suggest to you that this is your starting place, okay? It's called the Di Vernon Book of Magic by Lewis Ganson, Supreme Publishing, and uh, Di Vernon's routine is in here. Now, just as the Symphony of the Rings is the foundation routine for the linking rings, so is the Di Vernon Cups and Balls the foundation routine for the Cups and Balls. You will learn the Di Vernon Wand Spin and the Banish that's done with it. So I, I suggest you start here. Then you have uh, this two-volume set by Michael Amar called The Complete Cups and Balls by Michael Amar. By the, way, by the way, I wasn't going to recommend this, but Michael Amar has taken the Di Vernon routine and he has taken it to the next level. And his explanation of his routine is in this book, The Magic of Michael Lamar. So you'll get Di Vernon's routine in here and then learn that first and then look at Michael Lamar's routine and, 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 and study that second. That routine is in The Magic of Michael Lamar. But he's got these videos out called The Complete Cups and Balls where he, he really, uh, th there are many, many different techniques and moves that, that Michael Lamar doesn't use in his routine, that Di Vernon didn't use in his routine, but Michael goes into those, an explanation of those in these videos. So what you can do once you've studied this is you can begin to construct your own routine with things that appeal to you to make it unique to you. So I really recommend those resources. And then finally, you have The Secrets of the Cups and Balls. The Secrets of the Cups and Balls, Volume 1, Volume 2, World's Greatest Magic, l l Publishing. You, got, you get on these videos, you get Tommy Wonder's Routine, Frank Garcia, Dan Fleshman, Aldo Convini, Di Vernon, Alex Elmsley, Ross Bertram, John Mendoza, Johnny Thompson, Steve, uh, Steve uh, Dacry, uh, Larry Jennings, and Mark D'Souza. All those guys present their cups and balls routines and they explain them thoroughly. So uh, look, if you're looking for resources on how to do the cups and balls, Pick all this stuff up. Pick up, pick it up, uh, study it, learn it. Then begin to integrate things that appeal to you in, and build your own routine and you'll have something unique and special. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. Please comment down below. I love your comments. Have a great day.